Well, five Indian sailors on board an Israeli-linked vessel that had been seized by Tehran have now been released as per the Indian Embassy in Iran. The Indian Embassy has also thanked the Iranian authorities for the close coordination with the Assembly and I beg your pardon, the embassy and the Indian consulate that is situated in the Bandar Abbas. The cargo ship was seized by Iran around a month ago on April 13th and had around 17 Indian nationals on board. One of the sailors had previously been released and has returned home to Kerala on April 18th. My colleague Brian Thomas joins us on the broadcast to give us more details on this. Brian, uh, five Indian sailors released from Israeli-linked vessel seized by Iran. Give our viewers more details on this. Uh, well, uh, definitely, Asavri. You know, there were five of the, uh, you know, among the Indian sailors who were on board uh, on, on very Israeli-linked vessel. But now, uh, firstly, they were seized by Tehran but now released on the very Thursday as even um, the Indian embassy in Iran also confirmed. And it also said rather that the sailors had departed the country during the very evening also. Now sharing the details of the very release also, the, now the Indian embassy also very much thanked the Iranian authorities for the close coordination with the embassy, with the embassy and Indian consulate also in Bandar Abbas. And um, in an ex also, uh, you know, the Indian embassy in Iran also wrote that the five of the Indian sailors on MSC Aries have been released and departed from Iran today evening and they said that they appreciated the Iranian authorities for the, for the close coordination with the embassy and the Indian consulate in Bandar Abbas and um, yes to give more perspective to the viewers as well the Israel uh, linked cargo ship was seized by uh, Iran on April 13 with even Indian 17 rather Indian nationals on board and even in Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps also Navy seized the container ship near, uh, near the Strait of Hormuz and the MSC Aries was last seen on April 12th sailing towards the Strait of Hormuz uh, of the coast of Dubai and uh, on April 18th also one of the 17 Indian sailors was released and returned home to Kerala and uh, you know and Jessa Joseph also and Jessa Joseph rather who is a resident of Shisur also was welcomed at the Kochi International Airport by government officials when she arrived from Iran but yes definitely a respite um, to the five uh, Indian sailors who were on board on Israel link vessel um, were you know, uh, you know, they, they were in close coordination with the uh, embassy and they were released um, on MSC Aries and departed from uh, Iran that very evening. Okay, Brian, thanks for joining in, sharing all those details with our viewers. Meanwhile, joining us at this point of time is Group Captain UK Devnar, defense expert. Sir, so, um, of course, uh, as per the Indian embassy in Iran, five Indian national sailors on board an Israeli linked vessel have now been released. How do you view this development? Asavari, this shows India's growing influence uh, all over the world. External uh, Affairs Minister Mr. S. J. Shankar has uh, repeatedly said that India wants to maintain a very, very friendly relationship uh, relations, uh, with all countries, uh, especially with Gulf countries. It goes without saying that Iran and India have, mutual res have been uh, respecting each other's mutual uh, interests in uh, Arabian Sea for a long time. Uh, Iran has always been friendly with India and uh, when uh, this uh, merchant, naval uh, merchant ship uh, Ares was captured by Iranian uh, Revolutionary Guard Navy. That time, uh, on when our consulate in Iran contacted the Iranian authorities, they had uh, committed that they will not cause any harm to our um, uh, crews. And most importantly, they had said that uh, the crew is uh, not under any kind of arrest, but they have been kept on board the ship so that the ship can be maneuvered into various docks, uh, uh, you know, inside uh, Bandar Abbas. Uh, that process is, uh, it seems, is now over and finally the crew will shut down all the machineries one by one and anchor the ship uh, in Bandar Abbas in one safe area. After that, Iran has promised that remaining, uh, all the remaining crew also will be left by Iranian authorities uh, with, uh, uh, with honor and dignity. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.